Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we are going to do an unboxing of Corsair Leader, World War II Pacific Theater solitaire game from Dan Versen Games, aka DVG. Uh, this one is uh, part of the Leader series. You get Tiger Leader, Sherman Leader, so on and so forth. Uh, but it's one where you get to play the good guys. So uh, there's a lot of games coming out where you have to play the bad guys, but this is one where you get to play the good guys during World War II. So we're going to take the shrink off, take a look at what you get in the box. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. This is a very, very heavy box. Uh, I mean, there's a lot, of, a lot of heft to it. Probably six or seven pounds. So let's get. The, I love the blue. Blue is gorgeous. All right. So we start off with a rule book. This is the introduction. It's the uh, DVG's glossy uh, magazine stock. It comes in at 40 pages. And then it is full color, obviously. And goes over the components. Um, it's 40 pages, but the uh, DVG does a lot of large print, knowing that uh, Wargamers are getting advanced in years, so to speak, and so this helps, uh, makes it easier to read, spread things out, easier to find things, so it uh, goes over the components, explains the cards, the counters, so on and so forth. This is a card-based game. Obviously, there's counters for markers and stuff, so uh, it's got your readout boards, for your targets, how to dogfight, so you got that element as well. I've not played any of the plain leader games, so this will be a first for me. So here we go. So actually it comes in about 34 pages to the actual rules, then we got a few a little strip here of optional rules, and then Kickstarter additions to the game that uh, came through the, through the Kickstarter, and uh, these are additions that got added to the base game. These are not exclusives, these are uh, you know, additions to the game that everyone benefited from based on the uh, the Kickstarter. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And these are all the Kickstarter backers who supported the game. So you can look through it and thank them. It's four, almost four full pages of names. And those are pretty small print, actually, so it's pretty cool. And that is the rule book. All right, so we got a board here. Uh, we've got a dogfight uh, board. Dogfight. It looks like a reference chart, but it is a nicely mounted board. Uh, looks like there's some kills you're going to store here, but nice addition. And then uh, we've got a display board. Let's open this up. Okay, see most of it here. So it's got the order of events or the uh, order of play that goes on here from 1 through 24, pre-flight, target bound, flight over the target. You do this five times over the target. Coming home and debriefing. So you have your place for your target card. You got north, south, east, and west approaches. Uh, and your target deck and event deck go here as well as your turns. It looks like you only have five turns. Uh, or maybe this is the five turns of the over target. Uh, mode for the mission. I believe this is set up where you can play a mission very quickly and put it away and then come back and play a mission and, and save your staff. I believe that's how these work. All right, so you get that board. And then we've got a stack of cardboard here. We have... I have no idea. They don't tell you. So there's seven, it looks like seven, eight, or nine counter sheets and these are the current DVG standard of uh, they're pre-rounded and thick they're very thick counters so you just punch them you don't have to use the organ laminations corner rounder on them they're ready to go just to be sorted so we've got some planes here we've got uh, equipment drop tanks missiles weapons bombs various plane types Blue is obviously the, uh, the allies. Uh, red, I believe, would be the Japanese. So 
we've got one sheet of counters there. We've got another sheet here with a bunch of planes. We've got no bandits. Some some counter markers that go one through six. Take these up. Got them one at a time here. Counter sheet three. Some gung ho markers. More planes. Turn markers, Intel, flight leader, trackers, some radar markers here, radar coverage. Again, more planes, lots and lots of planes. They all look very well registered. At least this printing is, they're centered. They look good. Oh, okay, now on the back here, uh, let's see, these are all A6 M2s, and then on the back, we have uh, various riflemen, no sight, things like that. Now that's, unfortunately, they took the route here of the same counter on this side has different backs, which makes organizing uh, more of a pain because when you want a no sight, you can't just say it's always on the back of this because now you gotta sort through these to find these. So that's, that's a little disappointing. Uh, I know some games do that to save space, but with all these counter sheets, I mean, but that is what it is. So, uh, stress markers, experience point markers, obviously, uh, these are reminders of uh, keywords that your probably your pilots have. Got more planes, got bombers, got some wing markers there. Interesting, they're all left wing. No political comment was made. Uh, so got more, more planes, more planes, more equipment. Got some named pilots here, I guess. You can learn to love them and then lose them. So, and one more sheet of bonus. So these are probably ones that were added. This is game title sheet one. So game title is obviously supposed to be Corsair but uh, these must have been added uh, due to backers, perhaps. These are backer names. Uh, well, there's Pappy Boyington from uh, Bob Bob Black Sheep, played by Robert Conrad back this in the 70s. This here was made to order for this part, <laughs> or this part was made for him. So, those are the counters. So, after that, we have a player log, and I'm sure this is permissible to photocopy and reuse. I'm sure they have it where you can download it as well. All right, what's next? We have some reference cards. Remember, this is designed as a uh, SPO, a single player only game. So you don't have to worry about any kind of adaptation. Um, so you've got here, ah, Black Sheep Squadron, the aforementioned. Uh, so this is a campaign card. It says this campaign puts you in the role of Gregory Pappy Boyington, command of the fabled Black Sheep Squadron. You will begin by forging your band of misfit pilots into an effective fighting force. So if you want to play the campaign game, we've got this campaign. We've got carrier operations. You're in command of all the aircraft of an escort carrier. This sheet details what you need to know to launch, recover, maintain, and conduct flight operations with those aircraft. So you got that. These are single-sided, but they fold out, which is nice because you'll put them on the table. It's probably going to take up a lot of table space with all these cool boards. All right, and then island operations. This is for if you're operating off an island base instead of off a carrier. And your options there. So you get three. Oh, you know, it looks like there's more. But wait, there's more. There's lots. Wow. There's a lot of stuff here. These are these are single-sided cardstock. They do not fold out. They're just single width. So uh, this is a Rebel, 1944 U.S. Marines. It's a mission campaign card. We've got New Britain, 1943, the U.S. Air Force. We've got the Battle of Midway. You can fight that one, 1942, the Marines. Pearl Harbor, ooh, recently the 80th anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Uh, we have another Battle of Midway, the U.S. Navy's uh, 
participation. We have the Battle of the Coral Sea, 1842 U.S. Navy. And they're ranked, like this is skilled, expert. It's a long campaign, skilled. Where's beginner? Another standard, New Britain and rabble. Be a rabble rouser. Uh, medium length campaign expert, 1943, Operation Vengeance, the U.S. Army Air Force. I uh, said that before, I said U.S. Air Force, but U.S. Army Air Force. There was no Air Force, I believe, during World War II. There was the U.S. Army Air Force, and the Marines had an Air Force, and the Navy had an Air Force. Uh, 1942, U.S. Marines, Guadalcanal, New Georgia. I'm in old Georgia. This is New Georgia. Sumatra, 1944, the U.K., Okinawa, 1945, U.S. Navy and the U.K. The Battle of Late Gulf, 1944, U.S. Navy. This is a standard operation. Lots and lots of content here. This is, that's what we the box is so heavy. Luzon, 1945, U.S. Marines is an introductory mission. So this is the one I'll probably play over and over again because I'll probably be terrible at it. Wake Island, 1941, U.S. Marines. Medium length campaign, expert mode. All right, now we've got more reference sheets. Lots and lots of reference sheets. Here's one on, these are all single-sided. Uh, and some of these probably could have been double-sided. You know, they could have printed on, on both to minimize the cardstock, but there you go. Linked campaigns, how to play between campaigns and link them. A player aid sheet, key terms defined. Pilot skills defined reference sheet and you could probably if you needed to you could take you could take these and put them in a sleeve back to back so you only have one reference sheet right work either and look at this these are all oh look at this got a patch got the vmf 214 black sheep squadron patch so you can sew it right on your right on your arm if you want to that's pretty cool very nice replica patch all right, we have two, count them, two 10-sided dice that work. Got a two and a one, that's what I usually roll. If that's bad, that's what I usually roll. And then we've got lots and lots of cards. So we've got eight wrapped decks of cards that are gonna be making up various deck. So this is the Corsair Leader Aces Expansion deck. And then we've got a set of target cards and it looks like there's also some planes in here. And then these look to be just a bunch of planes and pilots and different skill levels. We got green, we got average, we got legendary, green. Boy, this is like getting a pack of baseball cards when those kids just want to rip into these and see everything. There's a lot of cards here. So if you're going to sleeve them, you need a lot of sleeves. Skilled pilots, newbie pilots, flying Corsairs, P-38 Lightnings, Hellcats. All right. So let's take a look here. We're not gonna open all of these. We'll open a representative sample. Let's try this one because the pilot's name's Kevin, which is a great name. So we'll, uh, we'll go with that one. And he's green like me. All right, we'll take a look at the deck here that says target card first. So we'll see what we have. So we have uh, mostly target cards in this deck. And then there's a few planes, so we'll set those aside for now. And so, target cards. And you draw, it's like your target is a recon force. Targets enemy troops, assault troops. So these are different things you can, you're going against. Landing support, outpost, and the, uh, the rule book tells you what all this information means, what area they're in, what site they're in, the number of bandits. Uh, this is their hard and small. This is their secondary soft and dispersed. These are tunnels, obviously harder to get to. Um, carrier defense, super battleships, major airfields, supply depots, light bombers, destroyers. These are things you're going to be going up against. <clears throat> you're going to try to get Admiral Yamamoto as a special. All right, so those are your target decks. And then we've got the deck here marked Corsair Leader, Aces Expansion. Well, tell you what, 
the Aces expansion, but it has, I guess that was just a cover card because there's your Pappy Boyington card. He looks nothing like Robert Conrad. How did that happen? So, uh, and of course, cocky fighter pilot, and Robert Conrad was pretty cocky. So. I dare you to knock this off. Anyway, uh, here's uh, his card. Some legendary, got uh, Blackjack. And so when you have these pilots, you have them, they progress to different levels. So when he goes from skilled eight to legendary, he's gonna, he's gonna have different stats that he deals with, so, and bonuses. So these are just a bunch of pilot cards. I don't know if all of these are necessarily the uh, um, the Aces expansion cards, or if that was just for this one. But more and more pilots and their planes. Jacob Tangia, Robert Stacy. So you have to sort these by pilot name and then work work your way through them and uh, it would appear that let's see Sakamoto uh, newbie 6 becomes Sakamoto green 8 so at least you can keep the cards together here all the Sakamoto cards are together there's nothing on the back that is a different pilot so that's that's helpful so you can group them together so that is the aces expansion and then the deck I had opened with pilots uh, with Kevin Morgan so there he goes from newbie to green so he's, it's not newbie two, it's level two, which is a newbie. He's level three, which is green. And they, they work their way up through that. So, so like legendary, veteran 12 goes to legendary. So you just have to sort these by pilot name. But you've got a lot of sorting to do. You would call it your uh, sorties, as it were. Anyway, uh, if you pick up a copy of Corsair Leader by Dan Versen Games, you are going to get eight ever loving decks of cards <laughs> lots of trees died to bring you this game and yeah, that's what they're there for so uh you get target cards you get a lot of pilot cards you get legendary pilots you get two dice and they work you get this awesome patch you get lots of lots of reference cards here. So let's see, we've got we got four general reference cards. You got one, two, three, ah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count with me. 11, 12, 13, 14 campaign sheets. You've got four, three, excuse me, three double, double width uh, campaign sheets or reference sheets. You get a player log that you can photocopy, and I recommend that highly. You get nine sheets of counters, pre-rounded, lovely counters. You get a tactical display board, a dogfight reference board, and a massive rule book. And that is everything that comes in the very heavy, very content heavy as well. Corsair Leader by Dan Verson Games. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. I was thinking about reaching for the shark repellent, and then my luck really turned bad. Hey, Boynton, that you? I hear your radio, Boynton. Where are you hiding? Oh!